Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to show you how to find the integral of a product of functions. Both f and g are functions of x. We multiply them together and we're trying to find the integral. We're going to show you a very special technique and we're going to show you that that technique actually works. Let's call, let's rename these functions. Let u equal the function f and let v prime equal the function g, which means we're going to write g as the derivative of the function v. Then the integral becomes as follows. This becomes u v prime times dx, and this is a format you might have seen before in the technique called integration by parts. We may have memorized that the integral of this is equal to u times v minus the integral of v times du. How do we know that this is correct? Well, we can do the following thing. Let's first rewrite this. We're going to write this as u times v minus the integral of v times the derivative of u like this. And now we're going to take the derivative of that result and we should get back what we started with. Well, let's see if we do. So we're going to take the ddx of our result and of course, we have a constant of integration. Typically, we leave out the constant of integration because it makes it easier and cleaner. But uh, just so you know that, yes, indeed, there is a constant of integration there when we integrate. So now let's take the derivative of this. And we're going to take the derivative of u times v minus the integral of v u prime. And of course, the derivative of a constant is equal to 0. So that will drop off anyway. So here we get the derivative of a product, we take the first u times the derivative of the second, which is v prime, plus the second, which is v, times the derivative of the first, which is u prime. Now we subtract from that the derivative of the integral. Of course, the derivative constant, as we said before, is equal to zero. Now the derivative of an integral just gives back what's inside the integral because this is the antiderivative. So taking the derivative of the antiderivative, the integral sign cancels out, and we have simply v u prime. Now notice we have a v u prime minus v u prime, so that cancels out, which means when we take the derivative of this, we get back u v prime, which is the contents of our integral to begin with, which means when we integrate this, we get this, and when we differentiate this, we get back what's inside the integral sign. So we've shown that, yes indeed, integration by parts is correct. When we have an integral of u v prime times dx, when we integrate it, we get u times v minus the integral of v du, which means that if we have a product of two functions, we have to somehow recognize one of the two. We can actually change the order of these. It doesn't matter if we have an f and a g or a g and an f. We just have to recognize that one of these can represent the derivative of another function, call it v prime, and then we can apply the integration by parts. And we have some examples of that in our video series.